a chicken nugget. Do you know if water takes longer to turn into ice or if ice takes longer to turn into water? Can you tell the kids? Oh, you don't know? Hmm, well I wanna figure it out. Hi guys, today we're going to do a little experiment with ice and I want you to do this one with me. So what I did is I got one of my toys in a plastic container. I filled the container with water and put the toy in the bucket. And after I filled my container with water, I put it in the freezer and I made a giant ice cube with my toy in the middle. And then I took it outside and I recorded a time lapse of it melting. I'm gonna show you my end results, but I wanna know your step of the process too. I want you, with your parents' permission, take one of your own toys that won't get damaged from water, and I want you to freeze it and see how long it takes to freeze. After we figure out how long it takes for you to freeze your toys in a normal little container like this size, we're gonna see how long it takes to melt. What goes faster? Does it freeze faster or does it melt faster? I don't know. We're now going to dive into my results. I hope you enjoy watching this time lapse of my giant ice cube melting. I can't wait to hear about your results. Okay, you might notice something a little bit different. When you see my giant ice cube, it's blue because I put food coloring in my water just so you could see the ice cube even better. You don't have to do that, but I thought it would be fun. But it does make a mess, so you need to make sure when it thaws out, if you put food coloring in your water, it's not on anything it's going to damage. Okay, I want your help figuring out if water takes longer to turn into ice or if ice takes longer to turn into water. So what I did and what you're going to do too is you are going to get a toy that will not be damaged by ice or water. And make sure it's your own. Do not freeze your siblings' toys. And you're going to take a little container like this. You're going to fill it with water. You're going to put your toy in the container full of water and freeze it. And you need to check on it about every 30 minutes to an hour until it's a complete large block of ice. And then you can look at my experiment to see how long it takes for this big block of ice to melt. And we're going to figure out together, it takes longer for water to turn into ice for ice to turn into water. <laughs> 